Hi all, in this video, let's learn about one of the JavaScript coding interview question. So that is how to rearrange the array elements such that all the even index elements should be smaller and odd index elements should be greater. So let's see what is this mean? So if this is an given array, okay, and even index means like array index starts with zero. So this is an even index. So this should be less than this value. So we need to swap this. So we need the simple solution. The normal solution is everyone does is like they can sort the array and they can swap each and every element like uh, even and odd numbers they can swap like, like this. The first two elements should be swapped. The second two elements should be swapped like that can be done. So that is a normal solution. Okay, but let's try to understand an efficient solution. If this is a given input, so this should be the output. So how we got this output is like the even index elements at any point, all the even index elements should will be less than the value of the odd index elements. So here, if you see four is less than six. Okay, six is in odd uh, index and four is in e even index. Now, if you take four, four is great. Six is greater than four and one. Now, if you take one, it is an even index. So it is less, less than six and eight. And now eight, it is in odd index. It is greater than one and two. Now, if you take two, it is less than eight and three. All the elements which are present in the even, like four, one, and two, will be less than the odd index elements with adjacent to those elements. Clear? So let me explain this, uh, the thought, thought process, what we can do for this. So firstly, yes, these are the indexes, zero. These are the even indexes, zero, two, four are the even indexes, and uh, one, three, five. These are the odd indexes. So what we do generally, in general, what is our thought process is, firstly, we'll check what is the index, index of the element. Firstly, we'll check the index of the element. And now what we do is, if this current element is greater than the next element, then we will be swapping these two elements like this, okay? Because in the even index, what should be there? In the even index, you need to have a value which should be smaller. In the odd index, you should have a value which is greater than the even index. So that's the reason. First step, what we do, we'll check the index as it is even. So now we need to have a smaller number here. But six is the current element is greater than the next element. So what we should do, we will swap the elements. Okay, now four will be here and six will be here. Two will be here, one and eight, three. Okay, like this, it will be there. Okay, now next what happens, the index will be at this position. Okay, and now what is the index of six here? One, this is an odd index. Now, odd means this is an odd index. Now the current element, if this current element is less than the next element, then you need to swap. But the current element is greater than this element. Then you no need to swap. Okay. Because in this index, odd index, this value is already greater. In even index, this is smaller and this is smaller. So here you no need to swap because this even odd index value is element is greater than the even index element. So that's the reason here you no need to do any swap. Okay, now what happens? Now the index comes to two. Okay, here. Now two index is here and the value is two. Index is two. So what we need to do is we need to compare the color current element with the next element. Here the next element is one. Okay, now this element is greater than this one. Now what we need to do, we need to swap it because in the even index, the element should be smaller. So that's the reason here it becomes one and the two goes here. Now eight will be here and three will be here. And now the index will be pointing to the two. Means now the index is three, array index is three, which is odd. If the array index is odd, what should be there? We will be comparing that with the next element anyways. And this element is less than this element. Okay, and this index is four, even index, and this should be less than compared to this. So that's the reason we'll be swapping these two elements once again. Okay, so that is the reason if you see the output here, so that's the reason eight is here. Okay, two is here because at any point, the even indexes, if you see four is less than six and six is greater than four and one, one 
is at the even position like a even index so that's the reason it is less than the odd index values and 80 is at the odd index so that is it is greater than the even index values so this is what the expected output so let's write uh, so we have discussed our thought process so let's write the logic for this so initially let me take the variables like i0 and let me take a temp variable as well so let me start the iteration let me iterate through the elements and here the best part is like what we need to we can understand is you can iterate through the last element you no need to iterate you can iterate through this element this is enough no need to iterate through, through the last element okay so that is the reason i am keeping this as length minus 1 because by this time it would be uh, listed out all the values would be swapped while you are verifying this element only you'll be checking the next element right whether this is greater or not okay so that is the reason we are not verifying or checking the length to the end so till this point is enough through the last but one element of verifying iterating through this array is enough because at this element we'll be verifying whether the next element is greater or not and based on that we'll be swapping so that is the reason you no need to iterate through the last element so that is the reason i am giving the length minus 1 okay and let me iterate through this array and what what is our thought process when the index is like i i is the index here so when this index is when it is divided by 2 and if it is even okay if it is even and the current element if the current element is what whatever the current element we have if that is greater than or equal to the next element so next element how will get the next element i plus 1 if you access i you will be getting the current element if you access i plus 1 you will be getting the next element here what in our case what it is the current element is 6 yes 6 is greater than or equal to 4 right it is greater 6 is greater than 4 so that is the reason what we need to do in this case we need to swap the elements so let's uh, swap the elements i'm swapping the elements so that's the reason I have taken a temp variable. In this temp variable, what I will keep? I will keep the current element. Okay. Now in the current element, what I do? I will keep the next element. I of 1 equal to array of i plus 1. And in the next element, I will keep the temp, temp element. So this is how we can swap the elements. Okay. Now we are checking whether the index is even. And if that is the case, we are verifying whether the 6, like uh, this is the even index, yes. And now 6 is greater than 4, yes. Now what we are going to do, we are swapping. Now 4 comes here, 6 comes here. Fine, this works for the even indexes. The same we need to do for the odd indexes as well. So if what we do, the index, if we want the array index, like a negative index, odd index, we need to verify this is divisible, not equal to 0. This should not be equal to zero. Okay, that is the case. Okay, and now this should not be equal to zero. Then it becomes an odd index. Now what we do? If it is an odd index, now the current element. Now the current element. If the current element is less than or equal to the next element, okay, then next element will get with i plus one. So if that is the case, what we do? We again do the swap. So the same swap. So I'm copy pasting the same swap here. So now in the case of odd index is you got an odd index and the current element is less than the next element. Then again, we need to swap. In this case, where we get this situation is when we are iterating through the two and eight. Yes, the current element is two and this is it the odd index. Okay. And this element is less than the next element. So that is the reason it should be swapped because this is an odd index. Okay, odd index. So that's the reason in and in this odd index, you need to have a larger number. So 8 will be coming here and 2 will be going to the even index. So that is what we do. And when 2 is at this point, this is enough. Now 2 will be verifying with the next element. Okay, it is in the even index. Okay, and this value is less than this value. So you no need to any swap. So that is the reason we are giving the iteration still the last but one element, not to the last element. Because at the last but one element itself, you'll be verifying whether the element is greater or smaller with the last element. So that is the reason we have given this length is length minus one. Okay. So now this is the thought process and this is the logic. So we can iterate 
through the array only once and we are applying the conditions and we are swapping the uh, values so let's see the output so let me show you the output once give me a second i will copy this yes so now we got the output see this is the input 64218 now we got 46183 461823 so here 4 is a even index you can uh, see this all the even index 0 2 4 so these elements are less than the odd elements like 4 is less than 6 and now 6 is greater than 4 and 1 and 1 is less than this is the even index right so this is less than 6 and 8 now 2 at the even index it is less than the odd indexes and 8 it, it is at the odd index and it is greater than 1 and 2 so this is the thought process and the program which we can do in the react and the javascript so hope you understand the video thanks for watching please subscribe for more videos